friends today we would be preparing two naphthol aniline dye also known as aniline yellow two naphthol aniline is a scarlet red colored dye which belongs to the family of SO dyes having n double bond n linkage the dye is prepared by disetization of aniline which is then coupled with two naphthol the materials required are aniline two naphthol sodium nitrite concentrated hydrochloric acid sodium hydroxide glacial acetic acid and distilled water the first step is to take approximately 4 milliliters of aniline in an erlin meyer flask as you know aniline is carcinogenic so we have to use personal protective equipments like gloves goggles and respiratory mask while handling aniline now we pour 10 ml of concentrated hydrochloric acid into aniline you can immediately see the formation of white fumes and this is actually normal and your reaction has not gone wrong here aniline reacted with hcl to form benzene aminium chloride ion now we add 20 ml of distilled water into this and we mix it well and make make the solution homogeneous After mixing it well, we keep it in a nice bath to cool to around 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. The next step is to weigh 4 grams of sodium nitrite. It is the sodium nitrite that is NaNO2 and not NaNO3 that is sodium nitrate. After taking the approximate weight of that is 4 grams we will now dissolve this sodium nitrite in a very minimum amount of water here i have taken 10 ml of distilled water to dissolve the 4 grams of sodium nitrite now we keep that one also in a nice bath to cool in a separate beaker we weigh around 7.2 grams of 2 naphthol that is beta naphthol we then transfer this beta naphthol to a 250 ml beaker and dissolve it in sodium hydroxide i am using 60 ml of 10% sodium hydroxide 10% sodium hydroxide solution was made by dissolving 10 grams of solid sodium hydroxide in 100 ml of distilled water mix it well to dissolve the beta naphthol on dissolution of beta naphthol the solution is turning darker and on complete dissolution the solution has attained a dark brown color this is the ice bath where i have kept all the three mixtures to make the temperature 0 to 5 degrees celsius record the temperature of the solutions with the help of a thermometer and Make sure that the temperature is in 0 to 5 degrees limit before starting the reaction. First of all, we add the cold sodium nitrite into the aniline hydrochloric acid mixture in small additions with constant stirring because this reaction is exothermic and care should be taken that the temperature is not going above 5 degrees Celsius. Here the aniline is reacting with sodium nitrite and hydrochloric acid in 0 to 5 degrees celsius forming benzene diazonium chloride after complete addition of the sodium nitrite very slowly you can see that the solution has turned to an orange color we keep it again in the ice bath for cooling and we again note the temperature of the beta naphthol in sodium hydroxide and the benzene diazonium chloride When we see that the temperature has reached 0 to 5 degrees Celsius, we will now add the benzene diazonium chloride solution into the beta naphthol solution with constant stirring. 
you can immediately see that on contact with the beta naphthol solution there is formation of a scarlet red colored precipitate this is the 2 naphthol aniline dye that is aniline yellow you can see the reaction here benzene diazonium chloride reacts with beta naphthol at 0 to 5 degrees celsius forming 2 naphthol aniline dye after complete addition of the benzene diazonium chloride, I kept the product in ice bath for about 30 minutes so that complete precipitation occurs. Now we will filter this precipitate to obtain the crude product. I am using gravity filtration method here. If you have a vacuum filtration, that would be much faster. After the complete filtration, we take that solid crude dye in a beaker. We are now going to start the purification process. The purification process starts by adding glacial acetic acid into the dye. According to the theory, only 25 ml of glacial acetic acid is required to dissolve the dye completely according to the stoichiometry which we took. But when I did the experiment, only a very few dye dissolved in this amount of glacial acetic acid even after warming the solution and most of the dye remained undissolved. After warming the solution, I filtered out and the filtrate was cooled and we obtained these crystals on cooling. The rest of the dye was just washed with acetic acid and this is the dye which was washed with acetic acid. Now we will dry it and you can see the 2 naphthol aniline dye here. This compound is used for dyeing clothes in textile industry and I recommend you not touching the dye directly with your hands as it can stain your hands. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the content of this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell button so that you will be notified about my new videos.